Haggis excused herself and told us to get our beauty rest like all good princesses should. The sun was setting, but none of us was sleepy. V suggested we play a game to pass the time. Nice picked out Moral Quarrel, a casual social game. V preferred something more competitive, but begrudgingly went along with it. All right, the first step is we answer all the cards in front of us. We must answer honestly or the game won't work. A magical genie offers you one of two very specific wishes. A, you can live one life that lasts 1,000 years, or B, you can live 10 lives that last 100 years. Which do you are a royal guard on the lookout for an evil sorcerer that has been terrorizing villagers. When you finally apprehend this sorcerer, you discover he is Charles, your childhood best friend. Do you A, tell Charles to leave town and never return? Or B, throw your friend in the castle dungeon? Would you rather A, have a pet dragon, or B, be a dragon? I'd want to be a dragon with a pet dragon. Is that weird? Would you rather A, have a tail that never stops loudly tapping against the ground, or B, have noodles for hands? Well, that wouldn't allow you to pick up anything. Would you rather A, constantly reek of syrup and not smell it, or B, constantly smell reeking syrup? I actually like the smell of syrup. First, we mix up our hands. At the start of our turn, we choose which player we want to try to pair with. We'll then ask the question from the card at the top of our decks. If both Asker and Aski answer the same way, they both place the card on one of the three spaces between them. Once there are three cards between the two players, they both win the game. If there's not a match between players, the card must be discarded. If a player runs out of cards before matching three, they lose. Graham. Are you getting all this? Oh, Mirror, which one is it? Is it B? Is it Nice? Do they like me? Do I like them? What does my breath smell like? Oh, lavender and, ooh, eggs. We're inside. Should I take my hat off? What if they don't like capes? That's silly. Everyone loves capes. What if they're allergic to triumph? Please tell me this is my inside voice. What are you thinking about? Oh, nothing. Just in my relaxed box. Ready to begin? Graham, you start. A magical genie offers you one of two very specific wishes. A, you can live one life that lasts 1,000 years. Or B, you can live 10 lives that last 100 years. Which do you choose? Hmm, let's see here. A. I agree. I would spend the long life becoming a master at the skills I have. Graham, a rich merchant inadvertently drops one shiny gold coin on the ground. You see a poor, hungry orphan pick it up. Do you A, convince the orphan to be honest and return the coin, or B, turn your head the other way and let the orphan keep the coin? B, the orphan needs that money more than the merchant does. Hmm, I chose A. I figured that honesty would be rewarded with more than just one shiny gold coin. Graham? You have been hunting for your starving family all day and only managed to catch a small goose. On your way back home, a hungry beggar offers you magic beans in return for the goose. The beggar tells you that the beanstalk sprouted from his beans will lead you to a chest that produces unlimited food. He would go after it himself, but his legs are too tired and old. Do you A. Kindly reject the offer and bring your starving family their dinner? Or B. Let the beggar eat the goose and plant the beans in your yard? B. I mean, magic beans. Yep. Magic beans! Magic beans! 
You are a royal guard on the lookout for an evil sorcerer that has been terrorizing villagers. When you finally apprehend this sorcerer, you discover he is Charles, your childhood best friend. Do you A, tell Charles to leave town and never return, or B, throw your friend in the castle dungeon? I pick A. I agree. Charles should be banished for the crimes he committed, but I couldn't imprison a friend. Niece? It says, you are the kingdom's wizard doctor. In the middle of the night, an honorable knight and despicable thief arrive at your door. The thief's injuries are much more severe than the knight's. Do you A, heal the knight first, or B, heal the thief first? I picked A. The honorable knight served our kingdom well, and he deserves to be healed. I picked B. I would honor my medical oath to serve those in need first. V. Oh, this is pretty on the nose. A man you've never met, but is known as a friendly king, sends for your hand in marriage. Do you A, accept his invitation, trusting his reputation, or B, seek love on your own? Is there any other answer than B? Of course, I chose the same. Would you rather A, have a pet dragon, or B, be a dragon? A. Definitely A. Actually, I'd rather be a dragon. I've faced quite enough pet dragons already. Graham. You're poor, and a thief pickpockets your only coin, forcing you to go hungry for the night. A few days later, you see the same thief get robbed of his dinner by two bandits. You chase after the bandits and get back the stolen food. Do you A. Return the food to the thief, or B. Keep the food, teaching the thief a lesson? I'd eat the food. You said I was poor and hungry, right? That thief will be fine for one night without dinner. Hopefully he won't steal again. Same here. Graham? Your best friend is planning to marry the love of their life. On the day of the wedding, you discover that their fiancé is a gremlin, using a magic spell to disguise themselves as a human. The gremlin assures you it loves your friend and begs you to keep their secret. Do you A, tell your friend anyway, or B, keep their secret? B, I wouldn't want to ruin their special day. Nice. Me as well. It was a close game, but in the end, I won with Nice. She looked like she was holding in a victory dance. V looked upset. Not because of me, but because she hated to lose. When the sun went down, the air turned frigid. We decided it was too cold to play another game and headed to bed. The walls of the tower were pretty thin. And embarrassing as it is to admit, that night I overheard the princesses talking about me. So, what do you think of King Graham the Wise? I'm not sure about him yet. What do you think? He's... interesting. This seemed like the perfect time to explore the tower. I was interested in getting to know my new home better. 